Hello everyone! This time I'm going to make a resin quartz mineral, but a little bit different than I normally do. This resin piece is inspired on a pyrite quartz mineral, and I find this one of the most beautiful quartz minerals, and I wanted to try if I could resemble it. So I hope you enjoy watching the process and give me a thumbs up for it. So I'm starting with the stone part of the pyrite. I hope I pronounced the name right. And I will include a picture of the quartz mineral that I want to resemble. But I'm starting with the stone part and I'm using resicrete for that. And it's a two component uh, medium. It's a powder and I'm using the color charcoal. And um, there is an acrylic emulsion uh, with it, and you mix it together, and then uh, it looks like concrete, but it's not that heavy as real concrete. So I'm adding the powder into my paper cup, and you can add as much acrylic emulsion as you want. I want a different... Um, thicknesses so in one cup I add more of the acrylic emulsion and in, in the other uh, cup less because I want to create a nice stone texture there you can see it mixing it together and because it's a very fine powder I'm wearing a safety mask mixing it together and the color is a dark gray color, so that's good. There you can see it. Now I'm going to add it into a silicon uh, mold and this is the silicon mold from Molds and Shapes. It's their geode tray silicon mold in the size L, large. And um, I'm pressing that resicrete into the mold. There you can see it with my palette knife. I'm not going to fill it totally because I also want to create that nice white, gold, sparkly um, look of that pyrite quartz mineral. But I also want to have a stone part and that's why I'm using the resicrete. So all the supplies I'm using in this video, you can find at the end of the video, but also in the description below this video. So if you're curious, please check out the description. Yeah, and I thought this uh, silicone mold was very suitable for what I have in mind. And um, the silicone molds from Molds and Shapes are of great quality. So if you are interested in one of their molds, uh, visit their website, the link to it is in the description. And if you buy some molds, don't forget to use my promo code JUSTPAINT5, because then you will get 5% discount on your total order. So that's great. And what I will be doing, first I'm going to make the pyrite quartz crystal and then I will place it in between two layers of resin. But that's later in the video. I think that will give me a great depth because it's in between two layers. But first I want to uh, make uh, the crystal or the mineral. 
not going to fill the mold totally. Doesn't have to be that thick. But this will dry in a dark gray color. So I'm placing a, a plastic on top and pressing the resicrete into the mold. There you can see it. And then I'm going to add more and create that rough structure of a stone. And also, uh, this resicrete dries very fast, much faster than if you use uh, real concrete. So that's also great, because then I can work much faster. Again, using a, some plastic, pressing it down. And with my palette knife, making some structure. Adding a little bit more of the resicrete. Pressing it down again into the mold. And if this is totally finished, um, this resin piece, then it can be used um, as a decoration plate or um, wall art. But in the close-up, I will show it to you all at the end of the video. So I'm almost done. Then I will let this dry and then I can go to the Next step. So the resicrete is dry, now I'm going to color it with my mica pigments. I'm starting with the blackbird, very nice dark uh, black color, has a little bit of sparkle in it. So in some places I'm going to add this color. I'm using an um, eyeshadow applicator for it. I speeded this part of the video. Because otherwise I would have a <laughs> very long video. But it dried very well. And it's not totally flat, but that's also not what I wanted. I wanted to create that rough texture of a stone. And with my finger I'm blending 
the blackbird on top of the resicret. Now I'm using another color, also one of my micro pigments, it's the anthracite, very nice uh, dark grey color. Also a little bit of sparkle in it. Because I also want that shimmery effect on top of the stone that it has a little bit of sparkle. Yeah, and this is a longer process because in between I need to let uh, some uh, parts dry before I can go to the next step but I like that I like working on uh, on a project uh, longer than a few hours Blending the anthracite together with the blackbird. And if you are interested in my micro pigments, I have listed them in my Etsy shop. The link to it is in the description box below this video. They are also available in the USA and Canada by my associate Evelyn Schaefer. And the link to her Etsy shop is also in the description box. Another color, this is the Twinkling Silver Star, and it sparkles a lot, so in some places I'm adding a little bit more sparkle by using this mica pigment. And hopefully in the close-up you will see the sparkle of it. Now I'm starting on the pyrite part, the uh, sparkly part of this uh, quartz mineral and I'm using uh, glitter stones in the color pale gold and I'm going to add these stones to my Etsy shop because I think they are amazing, they sparkle a lot. And what I did, I added those stones in a paper cup, then a little bit of resin, mix it together, and now I'm adding it next to the resicrete. There you can see it. And I'm using the Art Pro resin for this, and you don't need a lot of resin. And I'm also going to add some mirrored glass um, in the color Starlight, it's an iridescent mirrored glass. It has such beautiful colors from blue to purple and a little bit of magenta. So I'm going to combine the glitter stones in the pale gold color, the sparkly pale gold, together with the Starlight mirrored glass. And also that mirrored glass is listed in my Etsy shop. But I think these stones and glass resemble that sparkly part of the pyrite quartz crystal very good.
And you don't need a lot of resin for this because if you add too much, then yeah, it will bleed to the outside and I don't want that. So only a little bit of resin together with those stones and mirrored glass. And again, I'm not going to fill the whole silicon mold. And I'm getting three colors of these uh, glitter stones. But yeah, first I want to test every uh, supply before I add it into my Etsy shop. But so far I'm very pleased how they look. I'm adding a little bit of a resin in a crack of the Resicrete and now I'm adding real pyrite quartz crystals, very small ones. And there I'm adding also real quartz, uh, pyrite quartz crystals but then larger ones. And they are so beautiful. On the edge of the glitter stones, I'm adding a little bit of resin. And again, I'm using real pyrite minerals, the larger ones. There you can see it. Pressing it into the resin I just added. Also some smaller ones. There you can see it. And you can already see it sparkle. Very nice. So far I'm very pleased how it looks. But yeah, this is only the first step to make the mineral, quartz mineral. And on top of the Resicrete, I'm also adding a little bit of a resin to seal the mica pigments. 
and with my finger I'm spreading it so I will let this dry and then we can go to the next step So the resin is dry, now I'm going to take it out of the mold, there you can see it, and I'm so pleased how it looks. So also these silicon molds can be used for uh, resicrete, I'm really happy with that, there you can see it. So this will be the side uh, that is visible. So the, the other side is not that interesting for me. Up close. And now I'm going to place it into another silicon mold. And this is the same mold as you saw me use earlier. But this one is much larger, larger, this is the XL, so I'm adding uh, a resin layer, I already added a resin layer, so now again the second thin resin layer, and on top I'm going to add the quartz mineral. And I'm using the Art Pro Resin from Resin Pro. The link to their website is in the description. If you use my code Petra, then you will get 10% discount on your order. So that's great. So using my heat gun to remove the air bubbles. And there you can see it. I'm first um, adding a little bit of resin on the backside of my quartz crystal, there you can see it, not too much, And now I'm going to place it in the middle, pressing it down, now you can see it, and now it will be in between two resin layers, because I already added a resin layer, and the mold will be totally filled to the top, and then it's in between two resin layers, and hopefully that will create a beautiful depth using my heat gun to remove the air bubbles I never use a torch so I'm almost done We'll let this dry, and then we can remove it out of the mold. So the resin is dry, and now we can take a closer look. I'm very curious how it looks, and so far I'm very pleased. There you can see it, so nice. But I'm still not done. We'll be doing more to this uh, pyrite 
um, quartz mineral. So this is the backside. I'm adding a mixture of water and vinegar in a ratio to, of one to one. Some small drops, larger drops, and then I'm going to use on top a spray. And um, I want to create that mirror effect. There you can see it. And this is the MTN glass to mirror spray. And now with a sponge, I'm removing. Um, some of the spray because where I sprayed that mixture of vinegar and water it will not adhere to the resin because I want to create that I don't know if you uh, ever saw it but if you have old mirrors there are always pieces missing of the mirror and I want to create that look Now I'm using a paper towel to remove that mixture. So it will get a mirror effect on the other side, but also a see-through effect and an old effect. <laughs> so a lot of effects. But I had it in my mind and I wanted to try it. Adding a little bit more of the glass to mirror spray on the edge. So this side will not be visible. Uh, the other side um, can be used because this side is not that pretty. And this spray uh, dries very fast, so that's great. And in one of my previous video, I also uh, used the mirror effect, but then I used um, uh, a vinyl to add on top of an MDF board. It also is nice, but I wanted to try this spray also and see what it, uh, yeah, what it looked like. Adding my heat gun, or using my heat gun to uh, dry it. Yeah, this is uh, totally different than what I normally uh, do with all resin diodes, or if I want to resemble a quartz crystal. But I had so much fun creating this, and I'm so proud of myself how it looks. Hopefully you will all like it very much and give me a thumbs up for it. So this is the end result. I have it outside and in the daylight and I'm so pleased. I really love that mirror spray and I also love the stone in between those two resin layers there you can see the nice sparkle of the pyrite i wanted to resemble the sparkle on top of the resicrete yeah i'm very happy with the end result there you can see the mirror spray and the real Pyrite crystals, the mirrored glass, the iridescent mirrored glass. 
very nice. The different colors on top of the Resicrete. There you can see the real uh, pyrite quartz minerals, very small ones. And what I did, I added a gilding liquid on the edge. And this is uh, the gilding liquid from Resin Pro in the color Champagne. And this uh, decoration plate or wall art piece will get another resin layer. I want to use a heat resistant re resin layer on top. There you can see the mirror effect. So nice. The sparkle, the real pyrite crystals, very nice. And I'm also very pleased with those glitter stones. Again, the mirror effect. And now I wanted to show you the see-through effect. Because I wanted to create that old look mirror, where there are parts missing of the mirror. Again, the glitter stones. The sparkle on top of the recipe. There you can see it. It's see-through. Creates, creates a lot of depth. So I had really so much fun creating this. I hope you enjoyed watching the process. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up for this video. All the information to the supplies I've used you can find below this video in the description. And there's a lot more information. I want to thank you all for watching again. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye.